the, the basically you know the conditions just became worse and worse uh, from three o'clock onwards. Um, so maybe we should start the race at one o'clock or two o'clock. That would be a bit better for everyone, I think. I mean, it was incredibly tricky out there. I couldn't. I was in second, and I couldn't see a single thing. Whenever we got over about 140 miles an hour uh, with the spray, so I, I, yeah, I, I can't kind of imagine how it was for the guys at the back. So, nevertheless, it it's been a good uh, last two races for sure. Yeah, I love racing, and, and obviously in the in the rain. And today was just hardcore conditions, and um, somebody would have got hurt if we had started the race. Look, it makes me happier about yesterday's qualifying, of course, like that that then gave us the result today. But yeah, obviously today was today we didn't earn anything. It was all it was all earned yesterday. I was hoping for the race to start. I was always looking at the radar and hoping that, you know, at some point it would stop. But there was new 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 rain popping up and it's not a lot of rain, but it's just continuous. It just doesn't stop. And I guess faster difficulties to start the race with the spray is just not possible. So probably the right decision that obviously feels horrible for for the people out there out here. I don't know why I'm getting any points actually because I, I don't I don't I didn't race. Uh, I've just followed the safety car. But uh, yeah, I mean we take the points. I think it uh, bring us one point closer to Alpine. Uh, lost a point to Aston Martin and. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's very, very strange. I, I never, I never had this situation in Formula One, and I think the only race I had, which was cancelled, was uh, Suzuka in Super Formula. Visibility was wasn't zero. Um, we couldn't see anything behind. So yeah, hats off to Michael Massey and the, the FIA because it was not an easy decision to take, but uh, it's the best for our safety. Yeah, there was there was no visibility. Uh, at the end, we are all here to uh, to race and. Uh, um, but sometimes you just have to accept that today there was absolutely no visibility and uh, I think in those cases it's better to, uh, to stop it before something, uh, something bad happens. Yeah, on the bright side for the team it's uh, another point for me, uh, podium for the team as well. Uh, more points to solidify our, our P8 in the championship so that's, uh, that's a positive for sure. Quali, we struggled but today we didn't race and uh, I got half a point for something that I think I don't deserve to get half a point because I didn't have a race to deserve half a point. So. This is the only thing maybe that we need to review because to have points for something that didn't happen uh, is for me is not uh, not very may, doesn't make much sense. But um, it's what it is, and hopefully we can review it for the future. Terrible day, to be honest, uh, for everyone. Uh, well, some of them <laughs> probably it was a little bit of early Christmas because there was some gift I think uh, gave today with some people because we didn't race but they still get the position and still they get the points. It's disappointing not to race and uh, yeah, really, I saw plenty of committed fans, which is pretty cool. So really, yeah, I want to say thank you for sticking, but it's unfortunate, but yeah, it, it's unraceable conditions and that's what it is. Yeah, it was tough. It was long break and then suddenly we got 10 minutes. So it was difficult, you know, to come back. But uh, yeah, after that, you know, we did only again another two laps behind the safety car. So, but yeah, it was for sure not an easy thing. It's so difficult to describe you know, how just how bad it is, and uh, you know we're racing drivers like we want to come and race. You know, it's not like we d we just want to take the day off today. Especially me, I want to try and make up for yesterday. So I, I really wanted to come out and, and have some fun and do some overtaking and, and put on a good show. But um, we also know when it's just too dangerous and, and it's not safe for for us. It's a shame, but I think it's a good decision for the um, FIA. I'm sure that uh, we don't race. Visibility was the main concern. I, I couldn't see a thing. I, I mean, Yuki was around 100 meters in front of me. I couldn't see the rear lights anymore. Um, and you know, if if a car spins or s slows down more than you, you'll collect them. And that at 300 is not the right thing to do. Where I was starting uh, was very, very difficult to see. You know, even behind the safety car, we weren't going that fast, but. Um, yeah, I just wasn't sure where the car is in front, so I had to always try and keep a distance before the, the rain settles in the air. Conditions were really bad, and uh, I think for safety reasons, you know, it was, yeah, tricky to, to go racing today. Yeah, we cannot change the weather. Uh, what else, you know? You know, my mistake was very costly, so in the end we, we lost a couple of points there with, with my crash, but I have to say, amazing job from my boys, you know, they managed to turn the car around in a couple of minutes and that was very impressive. They race, it just shows the spirit that Red Bull Racing has and, and that's very, very nice to see.